Halloween is next week. We call this the scary season, yeah, we do. right? But it does not have to be for your finances. Mike <laughs> says, Mike Giordano, financial advisor with Williams Wealth Management, is here for Mike on the Money to give us some calming solutions. Yes. We like that, Mike. It's a good way to set up this segment. So let's talk about a scary thought, and this is it. We can't afford a home with mortgage rates at 8% and prices near their peak. So what should we do? Yeah, it, it's really been frustrating. If you're in the market looking for a home, uh, you know, prices, affordability was already tough, mm -hmm. even when we had 3% mortgages, remember? Because we kept seeing these double-digit increases in, in home prices. Now, all of a sudden, the cost of the money is more than double a 7 8% uh, mortgage rate. So it really does make it really difficult if you're looking for a home, but you still have to keep, stay to your principles, and that is don't spend more than a third of your monthly income on that mortgage payment. So if, if you're going to buy a home and it's going to stretch that significantly, you really want to, you know, double-check and, and maybe back off. If you can't find a home that you really, really want right now, best thing to do is bank cash. Just mm. keep banking cash. Find a way to keep adding your savings. Uh, if you can cut back on some expenses, maybe you don't upgrade your cars for a little bit. Those are better ways, uh, knowing that, you know, we've had these massive increases in price, but things should settle out over the next couple of years just to get affordably back in, uh, back in order. All right. Well, that's good advice. Yeah. There are so many people looking to buy a house. Now let's talk about another scary thought, something we've been hearing about for more than a year now, that looming recession. So what can we do to protect ourselves now? Yeah, you, you, you want to, the first thing you want to do is you want to, again, you want to build your savings up. That's so very important. And then you want to get rid of any kind of high interest debt. So anything definitely in the double digits, uh, credit card debt, you want to start wiping those things out. Uh, that's going to help you get lean and mean. And then you, now, now you're in position that if something happens with your income, uh, you're in a better position. And then you want to review those investments, especially if you're getting close to a goal, whether it's a child going to college, maybe you're buying a home, maybe you're getting close to retirement. Look over your investments and make sure, am I running at the right? kind of speed because I don't want to go and I don't want to be flying a plane 600 miles an hour as I'm trying to land it uh, so it's the same thing here especially if you're looking at retirement you want to make sure that you're you're dialed back a little bit if you uh, if you're about to retire in the next couple of years all right and what is your response now to people who say I'm scared Social Security is going to go away or I'm not going to get the reduced benefits they want to know how to prepare for this potentially yeah this is a this is a big fear and and you know, it's it's a legitimate one in that there are problems with the Social Security system, and and there may be need to be changes and tweaks down the line. There's also a lot of fear mongering, so don't get like super panicked that you know uh, your 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 benefits are going to get cut anytime soon. Uh, but the biggest thing here is if you're worried that maybe I might not get as big a Social Security check as as I'm expecting, what you want to do is again you want to build your cushion up. So that means building up the amount of money uh, above and beyond what your goals are really going to cost. And so again, look at that investment strategy. Maybe you might have to uh, search for a little bit more growth, which may mean a little bit more volatility. If you can't handle that, then take a look at your lifestyle and see if you can maybe dial it back a little bit, your retirement lifestyle, and then you know you can you can get the numbers back in line that way. And we always like to end on a, a positive note. So we do. We this is the positive segment. So the key to all of this scariness, because it can be scary, is to focus on solutions, you say. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we call this spooky season, but not uh -oh. all costumes are spooky, uh -oh. right? <laughs> not all of them one? are spooky. This is not necessarily spooky. So this is this is uh, the man with the yellow hat. I was going to say. Right? It's Curious yeah. George's friend. <laughs> yes. and, and, you know, they solve problems in a very calm uh, way. And it's the same thing here. There's a lot of things that can get us worried, and those are legitimate things. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to focus on solutions. You got to focus on uh, doing the things that you can do to help, you know, mitigate uh, some of the issues that, that are out there. Very good advice there. But is that hat yours? This is my hat. I felt afraid. I, I, I felt like if I spooked you too early with the hat, it would have just thrown the entire segment off. But the whole point here is that there are costumes out there that aren't witches and goblins and villains, and so it's not all spooky. It's not spooky. Okay. Okay. Very dapper this afternoon, Mike. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you next week. We'll be right back.